Hey, 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 y'all. I'm back with another video. I'm actually making some hot honey sauce this time, y'all. I'm actually um, baking some chicken, um, some crispy chicken in the oven. So I wanted to, of course, sprinkle this sauce all over the chicken once it's done. So um, go ahead, let's go ahead and get into it. But before we do, make sure that you, of course, subscribe to the channel and, of course, click the notification bell for all because this, is, of course, is Tony's Kitchen. So let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. For this recipe, I'm going to put this on down. But for this recipe, I got, I put it in my little measuring cup because I wasn't sure what else to use offhand because I want to make sure I measure all this stuff and put it into this, um, into this. So I can get everything done. So what I have in here is three tablespoons of butter. And just to let y'all know, this recipe will not be cooked. This recipe will just be stirred the way it is. I guess I put it that way. So um, in here, like I said, there's three tablespoons of butter. And there is melted, as you can see, melted butter. There we go. Then next, I need... Y'all know that I'm not a hot, spicy person, but... <laughs> I know I have family that's, of course, a hot, spicy people. So, um, especially my partner's daughter, Lord have mercy, she can have anything spicy. It's not hot, it's not hot. So, but this may not be as hot as she may like it, but we'll see. Well, I don't know. But let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. So, I'm going to be putting a fourth of a cup of hot sauce. As soon as I get this, I should have took the top off. Lord, y'all, forgive me. Let me take out this top. The little spout top. Please don't bounce in my eye. Please don't bounce in my eye, child. There we go. I got the top off. All right. So now I can pour it. All right. <laughs> so we got a fourth of a cup of hot sauce going into this bad boy. Like I said, we already got the three tablespoons of butter. And the ingredients will be, of course, down in the description. Just in case y'all wondering how in the world can you make this sauce yourself. It's going to be down in the description, too. So you can have that. Uh oh, we put this top back on her now because I already got the, the sauce out. There we go. And just know, y'all, those little hot sauce tops, the top of the hot sauce, where you can just dab it out at one time, like a little bitty, like little drops at one time. You can always take those off, like I just did. <laughs> so, and then we're going to have, uh, oh, I need a, well, you know what? It's a half a cup of honey, but I got my, my measuring cup actually. So, I'm going to pour it. At least half to half in there, I guess I want to say. So, like I said, I'll pour about a half a cup in there. I may pour a little bit more because I know, like I said, I'm not a spicy type person, but <laughs> I got family who is. So, <laughs> we may have to adjust this some type of way, y'all. So, it won't be too hot for me because I'll be sitting up here down, over spiced, overly, overly spiced. I'm trying to get this in there. There we go. Just trying to get this in there. I'm pouring the honey or putting the honey in there now. And this measuring cup, like I said, it calls for a half a cup. But I'm going to adjust this um, so it won't be too, too spicy. I should have. I may have to put that down, y'all. I'll move this over to the side and I'll get the honey in there for y'all. So, okay. Uh oh. I'm trying to get it on in there and it's taking a little bit longer. Just one hand, y'all. And you can use any kind of honey that you have at home. This happened to be um, raw honey, 100% honey. This is what we had in the pantry. Like I said, you don't have to go out and buy anything extravagant. They have cheap honey just in case you don't have any at home. Like I said, we had this in the pantry because it's about half full. We've used a lot of it already. So, Like I said, I'm just trying to squeeze this stuff on into her. It's taking a little bit long, but that's all right. It's honey. It moves slow. So what do y'all expect? Mm-hmm. I can see that beautiful brown honey coming on out of there. It looks so beautiful, so beautiful, so beautiful. And you're going to have to get the little air bubble. There we go. Because I had to do the same thing with mine. It has like a little air bubble in it. So, come on, little bubble. Come on up out of there. There we go. And like I said, this recipe is very, very simple. Yes, I'm putting this on top of chicken. But you can use it for hamburgers, for quesadillas, for pizza, for whatever you want to use it for. I guess I put it that way. You can use it for steaks, sir. Because hot honey is really, really popular right now. So a lot of folks are putting hot honey on some of it, everything. So like I said, it's definitely up to you. And now I'm pouring the honey on into this mix. Pour it 
Pouring the honey on into this mix, y'all. I'm going to have to scoop some of this up out of there. I may have to just pour some more, which I should have just done, but that's all right. It's still going to be in there anyway. <laughs> so like I said, this is the, the hot honey sauce. Like I said, I'm not boiling the sauce. I was going to at first, but I chose not to. So trying to get as much of the honey out of there as I can. Because I was actually going to go ahead and get this stirred. I may, Like I said, I may have to just put some more honey in there. Oh, y'all. I see the, the redness in the sauce. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Okay, y'all. And I'm just staring, y'all, until I can get all this mixed on up. And it's probably going to take a little bit. Like I said, that's all I'm doing to make this sauce. And I'm going to have to taste this. Like I said, if it's too, too spicy, I'm going to have to um, put a little bit more honey in it, just in case it is. But if you like it really spicy, use a lot more hot sauce. Or if you even want to, because I have chili flakes too. Great has chili flakes that I'll be adding to it too. This was already in our pantry. But if you have any kind of chili flakes or um, cayenne pepper, if you want to add that in here, if you love spice, add that in here too. That is up to you. I won't be adding any, I guess, like, a, like I said, a little bit of the, um, the hash chili. And it's not too spicy, y'all. I'm putting it on my finger. It's a little bit spicy, but it's not like overly like, oh my God, I'm going to die spice at all. So <laughs> I guess I'm going to put some like a little bit of some chilies in there. And like I said, these are chilies that I had inside the cabinet. If you don't have any, don't worry. Use more hot sauce. Or if you do have some, use some. If you want to use some to make it a little bit more spicy. I just like the texture of them. <laughs> it just looks pretty inside this mix. That's why I like it. So. I made sure to go ahead and put some of that in. I didn't put a whole lot. But that stuff is actually hot. Very, very spicy too. So. So y'all. Like I said, that was quick and easy. Simple. Like I said, you don't have to use a lot for this particular recipe. You didn't even have to cook it. I know some folks do cook it. I didn't want to cook it. So it's made like it is. And it actually tastes really, really good, y'all. And like I said, mine is going to be going on top of some... Um, some some oven baked chicken, oven baked crispy chicken. You can use it, of course, for any kind of chicken, chicken wings, chicken breast, um, chicken thighs. I'm using mine for drumsticks. Um, but like I said, the, I've, I've had pizza with this sauce on top of it. Actually, um, my partner gets a pizza from Mod Pizza, and they can put hot honey sauce on top, which is like what in the world? But it tastes awesome, y'all. Tastes really really good. Um, so like I said, you can put this on top of lamb, steaks, whatever you want to put it on. French fries, dip your fries if you want to use it that way too. But like I said, it's going to be good, y'all. Like I said, that's the end of this recipe. Like I said, it's very simple, quick, and easy. So I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. If you make it, let me know in the comments. Again, this is Tony's Kitchen. Make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell for all the videos that I upload like this, y'all. Look at that sauce. It looks really good. Peace out, y'all.